A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. We are back in Shobri Park and you can see the beautiful flowers behind me and a jogging track behind me. So we're going to enjoy this godly blessing with the beautiful scenic view at the background. So what does Baba want to tell us about the eight powers which are there within the soul which we have forgotten? We have not learned it in any school or college but here in the spiritual university of Brahma Kumaris you get to learn how to control the thoughts and guide them in the right direction with these eight powers and make yourself peaceful and powerful and face any situations in your life. So let's see what does Baba have to say. Baba says, may you be full of the eight powers and make your stage elevated according to the time and situations. So as per different situation, different people, different time, we have to use these eight powers in a different manner. So God says, the children who are full of the eight powers. Now these eight powers, let me brief you with these eight powers. The first power is the power of to tolerate and that can happen only when we understand the deeper knowledge of the law of karma of our previous lives and why things are happening to us in our present life so God says that one of the powers is the power to tolerate then we have the power to accommodate every kind of person in every kind of situation then power to adjust in any kind of situation power to discern what is right what is wrong then you have the power to judge that should I do this or should I do that power to face your choices both choices you have taken in this life and the previous life we have to pay face the karmic accounts of those then we have the power to cooperate with people even though we don't like to cooperate let's say in a job you have to cooperate with your boss even though you don't like because it's your job then you have the power to cooperate so power to tolerate power to adjust and power to cooperate they work together so these powers are there within the soul itself but if you don't think about them if you are not having the knowledge about them then obviously we find ourselves in situations precarious situations where we end up doing wrong karmas or taking wrong decisions and we end up being in a wrong situation so god then says the eight powers make them specially beloved deities and the eight jewels see the eight powers are just like the eight hands of any deity which has been shown in the so-called Adi Sanatan Dharma. You must have seen that deities have been shown with those eight hands. Those eight hands are the mental powers, not the physical powers. So, God says, souls who are full of the eight powers easily make their stage according to the time and circumstances. Any kind of time or any kind of circumstance which needs us to use any of these eight powers, we can use them instantly provided we are meditating on them on a daily basis. So God says then, success is merged in every step they take. So they understand that, okay, at this time I am supposed to tolerate. At this time I am supposed to give my idea but at the same time back down. And at this time I am supposed to completely merge my thoughts and not emerge them. This is not the time to speak out my thoughts, this is the time to tolerate. So I can merge my thoughts also at the same time. So God says, that no situation is able to bring them down from the elevated stage. So in any situation, that soul will be so powerful and diplomatic that they can use these eight powers for the benefit of not just themselves, but for the benefit of many other souls. Such souls are known as divine, powerful souls. Would you like to become that divine and powerful soul in your life? If you want to, then you have to take the seven day course in which you learn about the eight powers. And it's all free in 150 countries. Because God doesn't give back the powers to the souls, to his children who have lost these powers because of wrong karmas by any fee or by taking any fee. You too can go ahead and learn about these eight powers and enjoy your life and be peaceful and powerful and take control of your life and situations. With this, Om Shanti.